why KGAN CBS 2 is built for breaking news. Welcome back to CBS 2 this morning. We here at CBS 2 are working to get in shape and help you be fit too. This morning we're trading in our dumbbells and those treadmills for ropes and sledgehammers. Mike Gillette, bodyguard, strong man and martial arts expert here to share his extreme strength secrets and tell us about the very scariest gym in all of Cedar Rapids. Good morning. Hi, good morning, Christine. We're going to tell folks why we're in the kitchen in just a moment, but first let's talk about the dungeon. You describe it as the scariest gym in Cedar Rapids. We're going to show folks some of that video inside your gym, but describe how it's different and unlike maybe anything folks have seen. Well, it's scary in the sense that it may appear unfamiliar. The, uh, the standard gym has a certain vibe, it has a certain look. This does not. This is really designed to be distraction free, very functional. There, there's a purpose about the environment. So it, it's a little unusual for the average person, but once they, they settle in, they understand it and it becomes comfortable. And Brittany Hibbs and I showed up on Tuesday, took one of your classes. I'm still sore this morning. Here's one of the routines that we did called the horror. And we timed ourselves. I think the workout took us about 20 minutes to go through all these steps. And it was a workout like no other, I'm telling you. That cardiovascular and strength combined was amazing. Well, that's one of the interesting things about the training is that we're training multiple uh, fitness components all at the same time. So if you're interested in just getting fit, if you're interested in burning calories, if you're interested in cardiovascular improvement, if you're interested in getting stronger, it's all happening. It's all happening, as you saw, in a pretty short period of time. And it's amazing what just doing a movement with a rope can actually do for your entire body. You're so strong. Maybe, especially women taking a look at this video saying, I can't do that, lifting that sledgehammer. Explain that to folks. Well, it really it's for men and women. The only difference between women and men in, in a fitness component is what women have been told they can't do. Mm -hmm. They can do everything that uh, a man can do. And in this, this training, they do it. You, as you saw when you went through the training, mm -hmm. and Brittany as well, it's just scalable. You do it at the intensity level that's appropriate for you. You got a great workout. The people who are really in shape, they still get a great workout. Absolutely. So it's for the individual. And you say it's mental, and, and so there's a lot of benefits here in this specific workout besides it's just the physical. Oh, it's all about that. Mental toughness is, is huge with us. And there's a little anxiety when you come. You don't know what the workout's going to be. You're a little concerned about getting through it, but you get through it. We will get you through it. And it's, it's uh, accomplishing things over a period of time. That leads to true confidence, the confidence of achievement. Absolutely. We did some MMA moves too, which was really cool because yes, that's hot did. right now. But you, you touched on the mental strength of it all. And this is something that you have really taken to the next level. You do something called the Strength Show. And you go around to different schools and different places showing your mental and physical strength. So tell us a little bit about that, and then we're going to get to the strength show. Awesome. Well, I have, uh, I've been very blessed uh, to discover actually fairly late in life that I, I have certain abilities. been fascinated with feats of strength all my life, but was really kind of afraid of ever trying them. Grew up very small and weak as a child, but uh, through uh, a variety of circumstances, I've had pretty amazing larger-than-life uh, existence and this is sort of a, a way that I can uh, demonstrate you know the importance of not accepting what you think is impossible by doing things that appear to be impossible right. and we have about 30 to 40 seconds so I want you to take you have a couple of things here a horseshoe well, and a well, frying pan me, uh, what do you want to start let, with? let me show you this horseshoe because this okay. is kind of a, a staple with this it is the old time strongman so this is the kind of box a horseshoe comes in and I felt it it's heavy yeah, it's a real go horseshoe go ahead and examine that don't bend it though oh right okay mm, <laughs> I don't think I could bend it if I wanted to awesome now, I will use some leather hand wraps to protect myself from getting cut, but uh, this was one of the very first things I learned how to do, and I actually learned it from one of the, uh, the most preeminent practitioners Amazing. of uh, feats of strength out there. You have and, a whole uh, lot of videos on YouTube showing just the amazing things that you do. Here's one of them. Amazing and crazy. Check it out, folks. Amazing. That was a horseshoe, and it's, it's the real deal. Can you do the frying pan? I know we're almost out of time because this really. Take the leather time. Right? The frying Are you pan. Sure? Go for it. Okay, how do you feel? Because <laughs> I know this takes a lot of effort and, and. Well, that's the interesting thing. A lot of people see uh, people doing these types of things. They they don't understand that it's still a lot of work. Right. Even, even when you can do it. So you made that look so easy. That is really well, incredible. I mean. Uh, that's called a good day. Okay. So we're we're going to okay. try this. And no pressure. I know it's it's a lot at six twenty six in the morning. Okay, if we could pan okay. down. There we go. All right, don't be alarmed if uh, the, uh, the upper portion from here turns a little bit red. Oh, amazing. Come on, Mike. <gasps> <laughs> 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 
You saw it here on CBS too. You are amazing, you guys. I'm telling you, this is a real frying pan. He just rolled it with his bare hands. Unbelievable, Mike Gillette. You are Appreciate truly the strong it. man. Go check out <laughs> Mixed Martial Arts and the body shaping that you have over Revolution at Revolution Martial, Martial Arts. Sign up. Love to see everybody. And you can learn more at KGAN.com. Just click on the news link section. High five Thanks, for that. Now let's toss things over to Justin Roberts. All right, Mike, check this out. Ready? This is going to be unorthodox. Ready? Here we go. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! All right. Let's take a look at the forecast. Five to uh, seven is where we are now around Dubuque, uh, Iowa City at 11 degrees. As we roll through the rest of the daytime, yeah, we're going to look for a bit more sunshine today. 14 through 9 a.m. this morning, 25 through the noon show, 29 through 3 o'clock this afternoon. The rest of the week, we'll be in the upper 20s. We're going to find those temperatures pretty comfortable with 30 today, upper 20s with that slight chance of flurries for Saturday, a break Sunday, and another round Monday into Tuesday. Come on back. What else will we break? We'll probably break some news. You gotta stay here to find out on CBS 2. There are a lot of great causes, and frankly, they deserve your support. Of course, some require a bit of self sacrifice, like donating a vital organ or spending five or six years in a jungle. Well, we have a great cause too helping people become self sufficient. But to support our cause, 